this session we are going to discuss about the cytoskeletal structures called microtubules and microfilaments our main objective is to find the difference between microtubules and microfilaments microtubules are the largest longest hollow pipe like fibers present inside the cell whereas microfilaments are thinnest rod like fibers present inside the cell microtubules are composed of subunits of tubulin proteins namely alpha tubulin and beta tubulin microfilaments are composed of actin proteins mainly globular or g actin protein they form a fibrous protein strand called f actin strand 13 protofilaments are arrayed side by side to form microtubules whereas two f actin strands are twisted to form microfilaments microtubules have a diameter of 22 25 nanometer and their inner diameter will be 12 nanometer whereas microfilaments will be having a 7 nanometer in diameter microtubules are stiff and can't easily bend whereas microfilaments are flexible and comparatively strong associated proteins of microtubules are gamma turc statmin kinesin 13 catenin tips maps and xmap215 whereas associated proteins of microfilaments are profine thymosine coflin formin tropomyosin capping protein and gelsolin crosslinking proteins of microtubules are tau protein map2 lectin crosslinking proteins of microfilaments are fimbrin alpha actin filament other than this microfilaments also have membrane bound proteins they are spectrin and drm complex drm stands for estrin radixin myosin microtubule proteins binds with gdp for energy whereas microfilament protein binds with atp for energy microtubule proteins tracks for kinesins and dynins kinesins moving along microtubules usually carry cargo such as organelles and vesicles from the center of a cell to its periphery whereas dynins are important in sliding microtubules relative to one another during the beating of cilia and flagella on the surface of some eukaryotic cells dynin which move towards the negative end of the microtubule and kinesin which move towards the positive end of the microtubule microfilaments tracks for myosins which is a motor protein that involved in many cellular process that require motion microtubules are regulated from a small number of locations whereas microfilaments are regulated from a large number of locations Microtubules are found in cilia, flagella, basal body, centriole, spindle fibers, aster rays, axoneme of sperm tails. Whereas microfilaments are found in microvilli, cytoplasm, especially during pseudopodial formation and in muscles. The cytoskeletal structure of microtubules provides the mechanical support, transport motility, chromosomal segregation and organization of the cytoplasm whereas microfilaments provide contractile machinery and network at the cell cortex microtubules have a constant flux of continual polymerization and depolymerization hence they have a very short half life ranging from 20 seconds to 10 minutes whereas Microfilaments have a long lifespan because of their easy polymerization and depolymerization process.
Microtubules are polar that is beta tubulin end is positive and alpha tubulin end is negative. The polarity of microfilaments is determined by the binding pattern of myosin S1 fragments in the actin filaments. Therefore, the pointed end is called the negative end and the barbed end is called the positive end. So, this is about the difference between microtubules and microfilaments. Any further improvisation, please comment below. Thank you.